Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with my dad, John Rush, behind the camera. And this is the review of the 2016 Audi A3. This is the sedan. I'm going to give you the official title on the window sticker. 2016 Audi A3 sedan 2.0T Quattro S-Tronic. And that's all fancy for saying that it has the 2.0 liter TFSI engine. With the, it's got Quattro, so it's got the Audi all-wheel drive system, and it has the six-speed S-Tronic transmission in it. So with that being said, what's new from 2016 or from 2015 to 2016? Not a whole lot. They've added a premium package, or the premium package now gets a standard rear view camera, parking sensors, heated mirrors and washer nozzles, as well as um, the S, or as well as the new S line for styling purposes kind of on the prestige that's an available option. So with that, let's jump right in. Uh, as for most of you know that are Audi fans or, or, or maybe that are just in, in the luxury market, you'll know that the Audi, the A3 came out, I believe it was last year, um, to just a re redesign. It was either 2014, 2015 model year. It was completely redesigned from the ground up. We actually went to the launch on this vehicle. It was absolutely fantastic. It's It's... Similar in size, for those of you that are familiar, with the BMW T uh, 2 Series or the Mercedes-Benz CLA. Has great handling, great styling. We'll get into a little bit more of that into the uh, opinion portion of it. This, is the pr this has the Premium Plus trim package on it. There's three trim packages available. The Premium, Premium Plus, and the Prestige. Actually, hop on this side, excuse me. The Premium Plus has the 18-inch wheels, keyless entry and ignition, auto dimming rear view mirror, Audi's digital music interface which we'll show you when we get into the interior, heated front seats, eight way power passenger seats and there's also lumbar support on the sedan only. I should mention that really quick, the A3 does come in a sedan and a convertible as well, which obviously we don't have the convertible but just for those of you to note. On this model, there's also the technology package which gives you Audi's MMI navigation system um, or MMI Navigation Plus with voice control, a color dr driver information display, and Audi's side assist as well. The price, the sticker price on this vehicle as it sits right here is $40,525. The base price, if you remove the technology package and the premium plus and the destination charge would be $34,200. So really, you get a lot of car for the money. This car is all luxury. We really do like those sleek looks of this car. As I mentioned before, they've kind of revamped this. And actually, with that being said, why don't we just jump right into the trunk while we're here. No need to pause the video. If I can find the button here. Actually, it should be... Oh, yep, right here. So it pops up. does not have an automatic trunk, but it does have enough to where it will pop open uh, with you. There's 10 cubic feet back here for the sedan. So a little bit smaller of a trunk than maybe some of you are used to for this segment. And when you compare that to the convertible, actually the convertible has 9.9 .9 cubic feet of trunk. So let's kind of show you what's back here. There is a spare tire underneath, but there's also some storage compartments. A lot more manufacturers are going to this, which is really nice, really handy if you want to store some first aid kits. There's also some storage compartments here along the side. Oops, I'll kind of get to the other side. Some electrical, some other things. But well, you could store some med kits uh, or some different emergency supplies there. Um, you can see that the seats do fold down and there's also a middle pass-through right here. So this actually, let me pull this down. There's actually a center pass-through. So for those of you who do a lot of skiing, snowboarding, especially here in the mountains here in Colorado. That's a great feature so you can still fit two full-size individuals while being able to fold that down. Really nice, really handy. One thing to note, again, with this being a kind of an entry-level Audi, you could say there's no coverings right here on the bracing. This is just kind of your plain metal. There's no plastic or any other coverings to cover that up. Just something to note. Um, so why don't we take a pause of the video. We'll get the back seat set up and then we'll continue on the review of the 2016 Audi A3. All right, fans, here we are for the back seat. The first thing that you'll notice on this vehicle, uh, I guess come from your point of view right here, the back seat is tight. It is not made for long distance trips with large full size adults. If you were putting a few kids back here, you would have no problem at all. But just something to note in there, and I'll kind of show you really quick. So this seat is actually set far enough back for about a six foot one, six foot two passenger. I'm gonna actually hop in and show you, and it's gonna be tight. So, as you see, I'm kind of having to crumple myself up here. 
Again, this is set for right here. You can tell the driver's seat is set for about a five foot nine, five foot ten passenger. My knees are touching the seat and I do have room to move it up. So don't feel like we're just trying to show you this and say that it's not customizable because it is just something to note. There are indentations here right where my knees are at. So where if I could push it a forward or you know I could push it a little bit forward without having to worry about this outer edge just something to note uh, real quick the door apportionments a lot of nice soft touch materials uh, materials the nice brush aluminum right there I mean Audi again they've they, they, they ooze luxury when you talk about their vehicles and that holds through with the A3. You do have two vents back here and it's hard to show you so I'm just going to talk about them as well as you do have a center console here that does have a cup holder that comes out. See if you can see that right there. Cool little design that they've kind of put into right there. So really nice handy features. Um, one other thing that I will mention, there is the sunroof here. We're going to show you how that opens just in a second. Um, getting in and out is, as I kind of uncrumble myself, getting in and out, you do have to kind of swoop in or duck your head just a little bit because you do have that sweeping roof line. Uh, one thing, Dad, before we get inside of the front seat, do want to show them is the sunroof is a very nice, wide, large sunroof, and I think it works really, really well. Audi has kind of made almost two segments where the sunroof even covers part of the back seat. So again, when we get inside, I want to pay a lot of attention to that because I think it's a really cool feature, gives this car a cool look, and you'll even notice, I'm going to again hop over here really quick, as that you just kind of come up from the vehicle, it, it kind of all just blends together. Audi has done an exceptional job, in our opinion, of just bringing all of those different uh, features and technical and styling aspects together. So with that being said, we'll pause the video and hop into the front seat. All right, fans, here we are in the front seat portion. Uh, just before we get started uh, too much, I wanted to point out a cool feature that Audi has added or just a cool standard thing. They've pre-punched holes right here for any aftermarket uh, accessories that you decide to add, whether it be ski racks, bike racks, snowboarding racks. Uh, it's a great, nice feature, especially here in Colorado, that we like to, to use, a lot of people like to utilize. So as you kind of turn your attention to the, uh, to the front door, it's very similar apportionments to the back, a little bit larger of a cup holder right there. Some nice soft touch materials, really, just really nice. Uh, I, I don't know, in our opinion, they've done a really exceptional job. The jet stream, I like to call, sort of, it looks like a turbine engine vent. a really nice, handy feature, in my opinion. Um, what else do we have here? The front seats really are fairly comfortable, to be honest with you. Uh, whether Depending on your size, really, really nice. Again, added lumbar support with the sedan. You do have, with our Premium Plus uh, packaging, uh, the ability for the 8-way pow power passenger seat. So um, you can't see it right now, and that's why we do the interior portion. The screen pops up from right here, the, your information display or your infotainment display, I should say. The heated uh, driver and passenger seats right here. Everything else is fairly standard. Again, we'll show a, a good portion of this during the driving uh, segment. One thing I do want to mention here really quick. Where the cup holders are placed, and this is probably an American thing, so the, the Europeans are going to kind of laugh at us at, laugh at us for this. They're in a very odd place to where if you're going to put a large cup or even a medium cup, you have to put them down and it will block your AC controls, or a lot of these different things. So we wish Audi, again, if you're listening to us, I don't even mind if you move the shifter up a little bit and move the cup holders back to this back area. Just something to note that that, that we we noted and was something that, eh, again, maybe we, we would like to see change, but not a huge uh, selling point one way or the other. So with that being said, actually, Dad, we'll put you in the back seat and we can show a lot more of the interior. And then we'll take a drive of the 2016 Audi A3. All right, fans, here we are for the driving portion. Before we get started, I want to show you a little bit of the interior uh, that we can, especially with the car on, the vehicle on, what that looks like. Before we do that, I wanted to show you one real quick thing. This is Audi's, uh, you know, kind of patented iPod integration right here. Uh, Audi, if you're listening, this is a little bit outdated. We'd like to see maybe a lightning cable or even a micro USB for you Android users out there. There is a USB charging port right there, but there's no way to connect any other USB device to the system other than through that uh, only iPod only uh, system. So if you've got an older iPod, that works, but if anything newer, we'll not be able to do that. Uh, dual, dual zone climate control right here. 
The displays knobs, really easy to use, really easy to access and to operate. You have your parking sensors right here, your hazards, traction control. This is a cool little feature which actually allows you to push this and the display will fold in. Kind of a cool futuristic type of a system, I think, personally. I think it's just an awesome little thing where the display actually pops out. This is Audi's MMI integration. It's a system, it actually takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, very intuitive, very simple to use. This center knob right here actually lets you write on it so you can write letters uh, for where you're going in the navigation system. Or if you need to co contact someone, you can do that right here. There's different, the four corners of the screen are right here that you hit. And you also get kind of a click feedback, and I'll do that real quick every time you actually click a button which is really nice to hear just something simple you also have the electronic parking brake uh, right here uh, steering wheel really quick again exactly what you would expect from Audi very simplistic you kind of have your driver color information display right here your volume knobs over here and your cruise control is on this side you do have automatic lights one thing before we get driving do you want to show you the sunroof pull that back Again, a nice wide view. You can tell it, it goes both you know, halfway to the driver to halfway to the passenger. Just a really nice large view. Uh, works really, really well to, to be honest with you and, and just a huge fan of, of how that all works. So before we get driving, just wanted to show you the rear view camera. And you can see you do have a dynamic grid lines as well as your parking sen sensors front and back. So if we wanted to move backwards, we could do that right here. One other thing I did want to show you here is you can, as we're in the reverse mode, you can change the graphics. So what, what you want to see, what view, if you don't really want to worry about the backup cameras, but you do want to know how close you're getting to an object, you can see that from here, and it will show you where you are, where your sweeping uh, angle is going to be. So with that being said, actually, let's take a quick drive. The engine in this is the, as I mentioned before, is the 2.0 liter TFSI with the six-speed S-Tronic transmission. All-wheel drive is standard on this on this engine, as well as 220 horsepower. Real quick, I'm gonna kind of get it, and it is, it gets up and goes. I, I will say that it, it works absolutely fantastic. Runs really, really well, especially here at our altitude. Uh, don't have any complaints, to be honest with you. In terms of quietness, drivability, it really is an ease to drive handles the corners well you really sit and drop it in, into them very nicely uh, quietness will will let you hear what that sounds like again going about 25 30 miles an hour down this hill So very uh, fairly quiet vehicle on the inside. Again, this is your uh, an Audi vehicle luxury, so you are getting some added, uh, you know, noise canceling technology in here, and it can definitely uh, you can definitely notice it. You don't hear as much outside noise and ambience uh, as you do on some other vehicles that uh, are of similar size to this. The 18 inch uh, wheels do add a little bit more noise than its 17 inch counterparts. Just something to note as you do add that package. Overall though, really easy to handle. It's, it's small enough in size that you can fit it into tight parking spaces when needed. So if you're in a more urban environment, it does give you the flexibility to do that. In terms of fuel economy, let me make sure I get to it so I can give you an accurate representation. We've been able to average 30 miles per gallon it is rated for 24 and 33, so right there in the middle, 27 combined, but 30 is what we've been able to average. And that's with a lot of highway as well as city driving um, just over the course of the past week. So what do we think about the Audi A3? Uh, very nice, I don't want to say entry level, level luxury in a bad sense of the word, but it is. You can get this entire car, this entire package. Audi level luxury for $40,000 and if you want to take off some of the technology packages of the sort you can get this car for underneath $35,000 which is a heck of a buy in our opinion. You get heated seats, you get a lot of other, you know, you get parking sensors, rear view cameras, a lot of other features on this vehicle that not some manufacturers don't offer and a lot for a lot of you you want to be able to say that you drive an Audi. That's a great thing in my opinion. Uh, a few cons for us the cup holders, some of you are going to say, well, you Americans, you're just too large anyways. Well, that may be the case, but we also have large water bottles, the, the, the nice vacuum insulated water bottles. We like to put those in the cup holders. In some vehicles, you can't. This just happens to be one of them. And in terms of fuel economy, we think it's relatively great. The Audi interface 
this isn't necessarily a pro or a con, just takes a little bit more getting used to. But overall, Audi, we think that this is a two thumbs up once again. Not much has changed from 2015. Overall, an absolutely fantastic car, a breeze to drive. It was actually a car that we kind of had to fight to get into this, this past week uh, between my dad and myself. So overall, great, uh, great opinion. Uh, if you have any more questions about this vehicle, head to Audi's website, check it out there. Also head to your local Audi dealer, test drive, uh, again, a 2016 Audi A3. And when you do, tell them that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.